Hi, I'm Maddie Keeley. I'm a former HOSA student. I'm a CNA and I'm studying pre-nursing at the University of Arizona. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make an occupied bed. I'd first start by making sure I have all my equipment assembled. So I'd make sure I have a back blanket, a fitted sheet, a turn sheet, and a just clean linen sheet. I would start by washing my hands and um, putting on gloves if I was indicated to. I would then greet my patient and introduce myself. Hi, I'm Maddie and I'm going to be making your bed today and I'd make sure the patient's okay with that. Then I would identify the patient I'm working with to make sure it's correct. Um, I would make sure my linens are placed on a clean surface as well. And then I would lower the headrest of the bed completely and I'd make sure the bed's at a workable height and I'd also lower the side railing. Um, I would then start by loosening the linens at the bottom of the bed. Then I would pull back the first top sheet. And I want to make sure that all of it gets brought into itself. And I would place it in my dirty hamper. Um, and then I would make sure to take my bath blanket and place it over the top of the patient so that they're completely covered. After I make sure the patient's completely covered, I'm going to pull out that top sheet. Same thing, and then placing those dirty linens in the hamper. Next, I'm going to loosen the corners of, of my fitted sheet on the side I'm working on. And then I would have either my patient assist me if they're able to um, roll to the other side. And then I'm going to roll these sheets in towards the patient, tucking them underneath them and letting them know that they'll be placed there. And then I'd, they'd obviously still be placed up there. I'm going to grab my clean fitted sheet. And I'm just going to tuck the first corner underneath of the clean sheet. and then tuck the bottom in. You wanna to try to get out as many wrinkles as possible when you put that top sheet down. And then you're going to, same thing, roll this so the clean fitted sheet is underneath. It's not touching any of the soiled linens. And tuck that under the patient as well. 
Once you've finished tucking in your fitted sheet, you're then going to instruct them that they're going to lay down on top of the linen. And then we'll move to the other side. Then you're going to instruct your patient to roll the other way. And you're first going to begin by removing your remaining soiled linen. Again, folding the soiled part in towards, towards itself. And you'll tuck those into your dirty hamper. After your fitted sheets in place, you're going to instruct the patient to roll back to the center of the bed. Then you'll place the turn sheet underneath them using the same method as last time, go a little to one side. And you'll tuck that underneath them. and pull that so that they have a turn sheet underneath them. From there, you're going to take the clean sheet and line it up on top of the patient. You can instruct them to grab it if they are willing to assist you. And then we're going to remove the bath blanket from underneath this clean sheet that we were using to keep the patient's privacy. And we will place that in our soiled linen hamper. And then we'll tuck in the bottom of the bed. We also want to pull up on the patient's toes so that it's not too tight. After we've finished making the bed and covering them back up with clean linens, we just want to change their pillowcase. So we'll lift the patient's head for them, laying them on down. We'll take off the soiled pillowcase, put that in our hamper. And then we will put the pillow in the clean pillowcase. sure to put the pillowcase back underneath their head. And I'd make sure that I um, place the rails back up and leave the patient with their collar and remove my gloves if I wore them and um, tell that I have properly completed the skin.